This video is proudly brought to you by Hovertech. Hovertech. Just a button away. In today's guide, we'll be looking at how to make an MTK Droid Tools backup. Now, an MTK Droid Tools backup is very important in the sense that it helps you to, it enables you to recover your phone if you find yourself in a very advanced level of breaking. So, we are going to be using MTK Droid Tools to make this, but first we need to install our MT drivers, and that's where PDNet comes into play. So, I launch PDNet next recall that without your empty drivers your phone and pc can't communicate next next so we need these drivers for your pc to detect the phone all right this is telling me i have existing android drivers but what i need are techno drivers i'm going to click yes to overwrite now techno is not listed here so i'll just leave it on others and then i tick ok I click OK. Alright, this prompt is asking me to connect the phone with USB debugging enabled. Now to enable USB debugging on the phone, you go to settings, developer options and you tick USB debugging. So once you do that, you connect the phone to the PC using your USB cord. Alright, installing USB driver setting up network driver so this should install drivers to the pc here so i have a confirmation my empty drivers are installed on my pc so i can go ahead with the mtk droid tools backup now i'm going to launch mtk droid tools i'm going to launch as administrator because Usually, yes, you could encounter permission issues when backing up on certain phones, so it's best to launch as administrator. All right, MTK Dot should display my phone details here and a box here. Now, you could have four colors of this, you could have uh, four possible colors here a white, a blue, a yellow, or a green. A white indicates that the phone did not be detected at all by MTK Droid tools. A blue box means the phone is not rooted, so you need to root it before you can proceed. A yellow box means the phone is rooted, but the phone and PC are not communicating via root shell. And a green box in case that the phone and PC are communicating via root shell. So if you have, if you find yourself with a yellow box here, you don't need to panic. All you need to do is click a root button, which will appear somewhere here. When you click the root button, you get a prompt on the PC. You click a yes get an app prompt on the phone you click, you click a grant then a green bar will load here for some seconds then this the yellow box should now become green so if you have a green box what you need to do next is to proceed to, to the root backup recovery tab here then you click backup so empty kit you should have backing up a phone know that this proceed this process can take as long as 15 minutes so you really have to be patient here after several minutes, we are almost done backing up. So here you get a prompt to pack backup. I will just click a no. You could click a yes, but it just packs your backup as a zip file. I don't really need that here, so I'll just click a no. So task is complete, as you can see here. So I go confirm my MTK Droid to backup. All right, the backup should be located here in the MTK Droid Tools folder, the Overtech folder, MTK Droid Tools, Backups. Yes, I have my Techno M3 backup here. But this is a phase one backup. What we are going for is a phase two MTK Droid Tools backup. So we go back to MTK Droid Tools here, and then we are going to click to prepare blocks for Flash Tool. Now in this window, I'm going to select the MD5 file. Remember this is the my this is my phase one mtk backup we are going for a phase two mtk backup so i select files as md5 and open mtk.s to start copying 
all right task is complete so i'm going to confirm if my phase two backup was successful to do this i will navigate to the mtk drive tools folder backups my phase one backup now i see a file a folder named files to flash to so this is my phase two mtk backup so i'll just cut it here i'll cut it paste it here and i'll rename it to my techno m3 mtk backup now this is my phase 2 mtk backup 